Welcome to the personal property tour for 19 Park View in Balmullo. This is a beautiful three bedroom, two reception, two shower room, detached villa. So in a corner plot, wrap around garden, you've got off street parking and you have a garage. It's been extended, you have open plan living space and you have a conservatory as well. It offers great family living as well as one level living as well downstairs. So it really does cater for everyone. It's in a great location as well in Balmolo and it's got countryside views. And I'm just gonna take you on the tour. So this is the plot here. So this is the property and your boundary starts at the corner here. You can see it goes all the way down to the bottom. You've got this corner area here. This is technically the front of the property. And then we'll work around to the side. And again, this is all part of the property and you come to the side garden, which is really where your main entrance is. So you can see here, you've got your main entrance area, you've got this beautiful big bay window you can already see. So it's a nice sized plot, you've got lovely garden here. And then just at the other side of the hedges is where your driveway is and your garage, and I'll see, show you that later on. So I'm just gonna take you on the tour. So we end up straight into the front hallway. So we come into the front hallway, you can see it's nice and spacious and airy and bright. Lovely and warm on a day like today. You've got under stairs storage. You also have a double cupboard there as well. So plenty of storage in this property. We're going to head upstairs. So as we head upstairs, we've got two bedrooms and a shower room on this level. So we're going to start with bedroom number one. So bedroom number one is currently set up as a twin, but it is a good size double as you can see. So nice space. You've got Lovely views over the rooftops. Really is peaceful here. Lovely big double room. And you have double storage here as well. Double wardrobe area. So lots of space. And then in the hallway as well, you also have two double cupboards for storage. You have an attic as well for your storage area. And then straight across the hallway, bedroom number two. Again, a really nice size double. Lots of space, isn't there? So down here we've got storage area, so nice sort of dressing room, home office perhaps, seating area. You've also got some storage here as well, but it's a great size double as you can see. Nice big window, lovely and bright, overlooks the front garden. You've got the beautiful countryside views. It's not lovely. So pretty, so peaceful actually. So that's bedroom number two. We head out into the hallway and we'll head into the shower room. So again, straight into the shower room. So your, your sink, your WC, your walk-in shower. So you've got a lovely big double shower there. You've got your thermostatic shower control. Lots of space in there as well. And we're gonna head downstairs Immediately you can see how bright it is. So you've got that lovely big glass window to the side of the door, so lots of natural light coming in. And as I say, the beauty of this one is one level living, you do have a bedroom down here. So bedroom number three is in here. Again, it's a good size double. So as you can see, really nice space. Plenty of areas for seating and dressing. Got a nice window overlooking the front garden. Plenty of room for a double as well, because that is a double headboard, but just set up as a single. And you have big double wardrobes as well with the mirror sliding door, so lots of space in here. That's bedroom number three. So we'll head back out into the hallway, and the one level, level living part comes into play again, because on this level, we also have a beautiful shower room. The shower room is just in here. Recently renovated, as you can see. Isn't that lovely? So you've got your inlet, toilet, your lovely WC, Big walk-in shower. And if I come from this angle, you get a feel for just how large that shower unit is. Corner opens as well, so both doors open, so it's great for access. Such a great space. Lovely and spacious. That is shower room number two. So we're back out into the hallway. Now straight ahead, we go into the lounge. So as we come into the lounge, you'll see lovely spacious room. So plenty of seating arrangement in here. You couldn't arrange it, obviously, however you please, but it gives you a feel for the size of the room. You've got this beautiful feature fireplace, but it's the big bay window. How lovely is that? Really deep windowsill as well, which is great. So a nice feature. 
and you've got these beautiful countryside views. It's just stunning. It's a great sized plot. It's a lovely big room. You could put a dining area in here if you wished, but in all honesty, you don't necessarily need to, and you'll see that when you go into the kitchen. From here, we're going to head off into the conservatory, so you can see, again, you've got this additional reception room, which is a great spot. Good craft room, reading room, somewhere just to relax. Totally enclosed as well. Not overlooked. Wrap around of the garden too, which is fantastic. So from the lounge, we're going to head into the dining space. So we're going to the kitchen dining, so you can see it's an open plan. Immediately come in, you can see you've got great entertainment space. Nice dining area. Lovely sized kitchen as well. So it's a fantastic kitchen. So plenty of space for your white goods. You've got your fridge and your freezer. You've got space for your washing machine, but you've also got integrated appliances. So you've got your two ovens, you've got your hob, your extractor, and your dishwasher. So great size space. If I come down here, again, you see that lovely big window. They created this social space as well. So down here, this is used as a family entertainment space. So they have a bar area set up here. And then around this corner, you've got this great dining area as well. So it's a really lovely sized kitchen, isn't it? If I come down here, it's so bright in this side because you've got the wraparound window in here as well, overlooking the garden, leading into the kitchen area. And then you've got the patio doors to get out into the garden as well. So straight away we come out, you've got a nice seating area here. It's a lovely chill space. Your driveway's just here, your garage is just there as well. So you've got a nice seating deck in here to enjoy the late sunshine. Got a lovely seating area over here as well. You've got wraparound garden. Down to the side, as I said, you've got your bin store. You've also got your gate that leads you out to the driveway and your garage. And this is the wall to the side of the garage, of course. It also leads into your conservatory. And you can see why actually the garden really captures the sun. The sun's quite low just now, but you can imagine that on a lovely summer's evening. The garden wraps round. So we're going to head round the side here and effectively take you back to where we all began at the front of the property so the garden's well maintained you've got some great planting and growing areas here another good seating area and you can see why the sun's coming around the front in the evening you're going to enjoy this look at that such a great spot so this is back to the front again so i'm going to just walk down the garden and let you see just how large this corner plot is and look at the beautiful views as well i can see the sheep up on the hills it's just stunning. Isn't that lovely? Such a great spot. And you've got these wraparound borders. All your spring planting are going to be coming up soon. Isn't that lovely? So it comes down to the bottom here. Nice and quiet. And then we go all the way around here. So the plot extends around this side. It takes us back to the side of the property where we entered. You've got a side gate here as well that takes you to the bin store and the driveway. You've got this beautiful side garden here as well. So you really do have a lot of space here. And then down the side, I'll show you where the driveway is. And the lovely trees, aren't they? So peaceful. And then you have your driveway just here and your garage at the side and your gate to the side as well. So it's such a great sized plot. I cannot hear anything here, it's so peaceful. It's a great spot for children, isn't it? Even when you just come through there, it just has great curb appeal, doesn't it? Just to recap, this is 19 Parkview in Balmullow. It's a three bedroom, two reception, two shower room, detached villa. It's finished to a great standard, as you can see inside. You've got the conservatory at the back. It's also been extended, so you've got that lovely open plan kitchen dining space. You've got your driveway to the side. You've got a lovely garage spot as well. Corner plot, so much space. Lovely countryside views. But location-wise, what does it offer you? It's in a great location. Literally, as we're standing here, I'm going to flip the camera as we go down the street here. Primary school is just at the bottom of the street. So for families, you could not get better. Primary school's there, you've got the playing fields, you've got the park, great location. You're seven miles from St Andrews, you're a short drive to Lookers train station, you're 15 minutes to Cooper station as well, so commuter link's fantastic. Surrounding you, you've got great countryside walks, cycle paths, walking paths, 
fantastic lifestyle for children and families. You're close to Dundee as well. You're literally 20 minutes, you're at Dundee. But the fact that you're so close to St Andrews, seven miles, where you've got everything really on your doorstep, the whole lifestyle that offers, the beaches, the golf courses, the restaurants, the town. Great spot, isn't it? So it's 19 Parkview in Balmol. If this one's of interest to you, you can message me here directly. Likewise, you can contact the team on 01334 654 221 and it's Perry at 5 Property City. Take care. Bye bye.